Alright everyone, so we now have a proximity voice chat on the Minecraft server. However, because of the type of plugin that we're using, you need to have it downloaded as well as the server having it downloaded. It. So I've set up the server side already, so you don't have to worry about that. So now I'm filming this to teach you how you can uh, put on the, uh, the client side element of these things that will allow you to use this, this plugin. So there are three things that you need to download and they need to go in specific places. So I'm going to walk you through all that and I'll have all these files linked in the Discord. So first you need to get a Fabric Launcher if you don't have Fabric already. Um, so I use the Windows XCX installer, uh, save the file, open it up, um, and then I, I haven't tested it out running 1.17.1 .1 yet. I tested it out on 1.17 because that's what I was using for Optifine. So I just said, let me keep it consistent. I know that will work. Um, but because you can join our server on both 1.17 and 1.17.1, .1, I assume it would work for both. So I chose to use 1.17. So once I did that, I hit install. I've already done it. So server, uh, you don't need to worry about that one. So, I installed it here. Then the next thing that you need to do is you need to install Fabric API into your mods folder. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right version for the version of Fabric, the Fabric Launcher that you installed. So because I installed a 1.17 Fabric Launcher, I chose this file. If you are doing, if you install the Fabric 1.17, 17.1 that I assume you would use this one but so I went with this one so you'll download the file um, then what you need to do is you need to bring it into your mod folder so basically to get to this folder you'll go to my computer users click on your whatever user you're playing on on that computer I have mine blocked off for personal reasons um, and then you want to go to your app data folder um, which usually won't show up in the list so you might have to go, and you won't do this on this particular download screen, I'm showing you what it'll look like. You'll have to put in the slash yourself and then go app data, and that's how, that's how you can do it. Um, but so that's how you get to this folder, then you have to go to roaming.minecraft, and then your mods folder. And then from your downloads, and they're not here obviously because I already moved them into this, but I my jar files that I just downloaded from this site were in my downloads folder, and I just dragged it into my mod folder then you're going to want to repeat that with the actual voice chat mod. So again, make sure your version lines up. I picked this one because I did 1.17. If you did 1.17.1, .1, do this one. So I downloaded this and then I took the jar file from my downloads folder and just dragged it into my mods folder. And so then the last step, make sure if you had Minecraft running, close Minecraft and reopen it. And you want to go over to here and you want to select your fabric loader that matches the version that you're using for everything. So you'll select that and then let me show you what it will look like when you actually load into the game. This is how you'll be able to tell if it's if it's working or not. Because I've gotten it working so I know it does work and you'll be able to see what it looks like. Alrighty. Okay, so we're in. So do you see down here how I have this icon? That means because I have the little speaker icon, that means I'm properly connected. Right now it has the lines through it because I have my both my microphone muted and I've disabled voice chat. But when I do that, then bam, I'm back in action. Now I'm muted. Now I don't want to listen to anyone or hear anyone at all. So to get to this screen, you want to press V. If it's not working for you, this won't work. But if you do have it set up, properly, then you just have to press V and it will get there. Now because Resting hasn't set it up yet, I'll show you what it'll look like if you're not properly connected. Uh, so see how he has that little plug right there with the line through it? That means he is not connected. So if you are trying to get connected and you see that in this lower right hand corner, that means you did something wrong and you need to check that you put everything in the right place and that you have all the matching versions. So it's as simple as that and uh, then once you get in here, if you can't hear stuff, Make sure in the microphone, microphone testing, testing to see if you're using the right one. Select the right microphone, select the right speaker, and you have all these little options here. 
And you can also, you can do push to talk, which it's tab in for that. Um, or you can just have it on a voice activation. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys like this plugin. I think this will be a really great addition to our server and to our server Saturdays and a better way to do things than we've been doing them properly. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the Discord. Um, but I believe in you, you can figure this out on your own first. So watch the video through a couple times if you need to. It's not that difficult and I believe that you can get it working.